Hi, this is Jack Stanley, and I wanted to talk about three myths about the RMS Titanic. You know, the Titanic sank in 1912, and that's 106 years ago. And as soon as the ship touched the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, myths had already started coming out about the ship. And it has not stopped since. For 106 years, we have heard the most ludicrous, stupid stuff about the Titanic and things that they wanted you to believe. But, of course, it was pure nonsense. So let's go through three major myths about the Titanic. Number one, that the Titanic was the ship of dreams. There was nothing like it before. It was amazing. Nonsense. The Titanic was one of a series of ships. In fact, three practically identical sisters. The first was called the Olympic. And the Olympic came to New York City in 1911. And it was called the Ship of Dreams, the Millionaire Special. All the accolades that we use today for the Titanic were used for the Olympic. The Olympic was the wondership. People lined the Hudson River in New York just to see it come in. People paid money just to walk through it. Everybody was enamored with the Olympic. In fact, for an entire year, there was this feeding frenzy on the Olympic, and no one could get enough information on the ship. And when the Titanic came out, Nobody could care less, because you know something? The Titanic was just another Olympic. And that's the thing that we have forgotten. We seem to think that the Titanic was driving everyone wild. It wasn't. It wasn't even fully booked. They couldn't book the ship because it was just another Olympic. Number two. The Titanic was unsinkable. No. The Titanic was never stated as being unsinkable. It was stated as being practically unsinkable. That's a very, very different terminology. And the important thing to realize, as soon as it sank, somehow practically got lost and it was known as the unsinkable Titanic. Well, the Titanic became unsinkable when it sank. That's an important thing to realize, because everybody threw that in, because it was unsinkable. And the thing is, also, that's kind of fascinating about this, is the fact that they said it only had a few lifeboats, because it was unsinkable. Bull. Now, here's something to remember with the Board of Trade rules when the Titanic was built. The Titanic, like the Olympic, carried uh, 16 lifeboats and four collapsibles. Now, let's take a look at all the other ships that were out at that time. The Lusitania, the Mauritania, the Oceanic. The Adriatic, the Big Four, um, they all had 16 lifeboats. And that's what the law required. The Titanic actually carried more lifeboats than the Mauritania or the Lusitania. It's an important thing to remember because all we ever hear about, it was unsinkable. No, it was practically unsinkable. You know, every ship was marked that way. You know, the Lusitania, the Mauritania, the uh, Adriatic uh, were all listed as being practically unsinkable. Now, there's a big difference between practically and completely. And somewhere along the line, right after it sank, somebody lost practically. And it became unsinkable. That was not the case. And one last thing to mention to you. Did you ever hear about the fact that the Titanic was trying to break a record? 
Yeah. It was trying to break the record and get the blue ribbon to cross the Atlantic faster than the Mauritania or the Lusitania. Yup. Nonsense. Here's the important thing to remember. The Titanic, like her sisters, the Olympic and the Britannic, the three of them, had triple screws. They had reciprocating engines, which fed one turbine center screw. The Lusitania and the Mauritania had four screws, four turbines. They were designed to admiralty standards. Therefore, the if pressed, if pushed, the Lusitania or the Mauritania could get up to about 28 knots really being pushed. The Titanic or the Olympic or the Britannic, if really pushed, could get up to about 24 knots, maybe 25 for a spurt, but that's it. There was no way the Titanic could break the record. That was an impossibility. That was just invented. And like so many things about the RMS Titanic, things are just invented. But these are three major myths, you know, that uh, it was this wondership, that it was unsinkable, and lastly, that it was going to break a record. Well, none of those things. The Titanic was an amazing vessel, just like her sisters. You know, it kind of takes away from the story when you realize that an identical ship so the Titanic sailed the year previously, and that was the Olympic, the ship of dreams, the millionaire special, the practically unsinkable Olympic. You never heard about the Olympic being unsinkable, did you? Well, they never did that. It was the same type of ship. The Titanic, just to get press play, just to get more into the stupid story that they kind of invented about the sinking added that little feature. So remember, when you read about the Titanic and you, you hear stories about it, think about it, read between the lines, and more often than not, you will find that many of the myths about the Titanic are merely that, myths. Thank you.